Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can play as Stalker right now, at least for the next month in Warframe. Regularly, if you didn't know, you're able to play Stalker in the Duveri Paradox once you level up your intrinsics and get your whole Duveri Paradox tree fully leveled up. But right now, if you are done the Belly of the Beast, and are, sorry, able to run the Belly of the Beast quest, and you have finished Jade Shadows, you can go to Mercury on the Lorunda Relay, and you can play a mission as your boy, Stalker. And we are going to do that. I will show you Stalker's ability set and everything. I believe it is a random chance to go in either Steel Path or not Steel Path. And just to let you know, you cannot die as Stalker. You have one life. If you die, you are out. So play carefully. This is the new vendor, Ortis. Lorunda Relay on Mercury only. He is the Jade Shadows vendor and the Belly of the Beast event vendor, if you go a shared purpose, All done. you are able to randomly assist Tenno as Stalker in Belly of the Beast, and you will earn re rewards regularly. So, let's go take a look. Let's, let's see how it is. And now we load in to this random group as Stalker. So we have Stalker Vision, and we are also green because of Jade Shadows. Ah, yeah, we know, we know. Yeah, Stalker will not fight Jade. If you're in a group with Jade and Stalker spawns, he just goes like, uh, lol, never mind, love you. So this is how we have five people in the group. We have one, two, three, four, and then I'm the, the fifth. In case you're wondering how that's happening, this. Stalker can go invisible at a seven second rate, it seems. And you also have all of your abilities. So yeah, let's get it done and let's play through the mission of Stalker, okay? We have Scythe, we have Despair, and we have Dread. No shock there, you're Stalker, you have Stalker set up. The first part is like defending this and this is always a bore. Because you just kind of go around murking everyone. Oh no! Now we're just chilling. You cannot mod Stalker or anything, and you are Green Stalker. That's right, you're Xbox Stalker. Xbox Stalker, robot in disguise. Doesn't he look cool? He's such a nice Stalker. Bow, bow, bow. So do not die. Stalker is pretty easy. Look in the bottom right, you have 1100 energy. It's pretty insane. But your abilities do cost a good chunk of energy. So just be invisible, stay safe, and you'll, good, you'll be good to go. I already uploaded my full general guide on how to do this game mode, if anyone's looking for that. But hey. So your first ability is jumping on them and assassinating them. Same as Duviri Paradox Stalker. So if you need to get someone where quickly, teleport to someone using your first ability. Oh, someone DC. Oh, someone DC'd. Or it's just buggy. Never mind, it's just buggy. <laughs> I was like, wait, did someone DC? Nope, just bugged. Right, I can always just go and assassinate them. You can mark enemies for death. So that's pretty cool. The same as, uh, I think, mark for death Ash. So if you want, mark enemies. Oh. So you mark them and then you assassinate them for an AoE explosion boost. Right? Mark for death. And they all die because it was the AoE explosion on mark for death. Just in case like you're kind of wondering how Stalker works, you know? So yeah, that's Stalker. Your fourth ability, it's the same as Duveri if you played Duveri Paradox. You charge up your damage you take, and then you're shooting it all out at enemies. So if you're doing your fourth ability, and the jade lights hit you, you essentially destroy everyone, and then you shoot out little energy blades. Right? It's pretty cool. I like energy blades. It says there's a ton of enemies down there, huh? Oh well. So that's how you play as Stalker and destroy everyone. Other than that, this is the regular Ascension Belly of the Beast game mode. You just go around destroying everyone. Oh no.
Right? I'm gonna sit here. This is probably gonna absolutely destroy. Oh, no. I got a little low. I got scared. Get the speed boost, charged uh, shells. I hear the little sister of Parvo's beacon. I just can't see it yet. There it is. Okay, he grabbed it. Oh, he's grabbing the charged one. Okay. Because remember, you always want to throw those charged ones at it. Always want to throw those charged ones at it. And then the last beacon, well, one beacon, I should say, is right here. And I swear, I thought I saw one right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. There's another elevator, by the way. There's a side elevator, fun fact. Each side has random elevators, so small elevator to the left, and then small elevator to the right. In case you didn't know. Watch this. And then you just shoot- nope. Apparently I shot them all up. Didn't really do too much. But yeah, this is the game mode. It's pretty chill and calm. Are there any boosted ones lying around here? The boosted charges will say uh, boosted ionic charge, and they'll also have a more vibrant and bigger green notification thing, right? It's more vibrant and green, a little bigger. So, yeah. That's how you play a stalker. I think it's pretty fun. All of the bug fixes for insane farms and everything for this game mode have been fixed. It was fun while it lasted, though. Now the last part of the mission is when you just run around killing everybody, right? Almost done everything here. Oh no, she died instantly. Poor sister of Parvos. Did you not drop a... Oh no, she did. It just doesn't pop up. Gotcha. Yeah, that stalker is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And this is the infinite spawn. Before they fixed it, you could get a ton of loot in this area here. You can still get a good chunk. But as you can see, they stop spawning now. After like 50 or 100 kills. Still get a good chunk of riven slivers, unidentified items. Not bad, right? Not bad. So that's fully how you can stalkerize your Jade Shadows experience. I think stalk is a pretty cool dude, you know? And that'll be the thumbnail for the video, because look at stalker. He looks so nice in his green jade apparel. Ah. But yeah, reminder everyone, Tenocon is July 20th for all that free loot. Yeah. All the loot you left behind, it is what it is. You still get some volatile and vestigial motes, but it isn't Steel Path. So you get a little bit less, and it looks like it might take away some other stuff. Yeah, you don't get as much gear as you probably would if you were running Steel Path, right? But either way, that's how you can play as and kill enemies as Stalker. At least during the Belly of the Beast game event, and if not, you can do it in Duveri Paradox. But yeah, you can't play as Stalker regularly outside of those two situations. So yeah, let me know what you think. Stalker's pretty strong, so you shouldn't really have too many issues. But you can also always get one shot here and there. So yeah, just be careful and you should be good to go. Cheers.